This is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff I got going on. Now I gotta go way up in that corner. And since my car is all filthy, my pants are all filthy now. This is crazy. This is crazy, Tesla. Okay, moment of truth here. Oh, that really hurt. Oh! What's going on everybody? Today we are talking about essentials you need in the winter. Some of these are Tesla specific, some are not. Uh, and you can see behind me, my car is all covered up. So this video is actually sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop and they wanted to do a giveaway. Uh, so this video is my idea, but I figured this would be a good video to incorporate the giveaway. So they're gonna be giving away two of these car covers two sets of all-weather floor mats, the exact kind I'm using, which are really, really nice. So how the giveaway is gonna work, you gotta watch to the end of the video. Nah, forget that, I'm not gonna do that to you. So to enter, make sure you like this video, get subscribed, and then all you gotta do is comment below and just say that you wanna enter the contest in some way. And then as the prizes are claimed, people that are picked later, you will get whatever's left. Once you're picked as a winner, I'll respond to your comment on this video. Then you need to direct message me either via Instagram, Twitter, or Reddit, uh, just so I can confirm who you are. All the items being given away, I'm just gonna give you a code. You don't have to give me your address or anything. You'll either claim them from Amazon or the Model 3 Part Shop, and then it's shipped to you completely free, and that'll be that. One more thing that I forgot when I was filming the intro, Model 3 Part Shop is having a black Black Friday sale. So check out their website, get ready. It'll be, I think, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So make sure you're ready for that. I'll be reminding you about that in the next few videos. Um, so get ready for their Black Friday sale. And this stuff that you're gonna win, just put it in your cart right now because you're gonna win it and then I'll give you the code. You just put the code in, it gets shipped right to your house. Uh, so get ready to win this stuff. So with that said, let's get started. First thing we're gonna look at is winter tires. Uh, I have winter tires and I have all seasons to compare. And most of the stuff I talk about will be in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. If you have any questions besides entering the contest, you can comment below. I will get back to you on my experience with using these different things. These are all things I've used, uh, not every winter, but most winters, um, and I really recommend. All right, so first up, looking at snow tires. It might be obvious to you, but on the right is the snow tire. We have these on our Equinox. And on the left is the stock 18-inch tire that comes on the Model 3. So there's two main reasons snow tires are way better in the winter. Number one, you can see these huge grooves in here. And what happens is as you drive on snow, it's actually rough here, it'll pick up snow in these grooves. Just like that. So you can see the snow is all stuck in there and snow gets really good traction on snow. Just like when you build a snowman and you kind of roll the ball, all the snow sticks together. So this helps give you traction in the snow. You can see on the all season, I can do the same thing, but there's not nearly as much. This is a lot thinner and there's not as much snow in there to stay stuck. The second reason snow tires are way better is because the rubber is made to be softer at colder temperatures. So as this rubber gets cold, like anything, it'll get harder. But this rubber is designed to work at colder temperatures so it'll stay rubbery and flexible longer. I can already tell, having driven both of these cars, the snow tires make a huge difference. I have had them on previous cars and they're way, way better. Here's a better look at the snow tire. And don't get me wrong, all wheel drive will help you get going despite your tire. But the big problem is it will not help you stop and that's where you can run into danger if you don't have snow tires. And the more that I talk about them and look at them, I am really tempted to get some for my Model 3, and I may do that if not only to stop all the comments I keep getting begging me to get snow tires. So here is the car cover, fits on really nicely. We got some orange markings on the corners here so that in case the car is parked somewhere, those will reflect, other people will see it if they drive by. We have a big mesh netting here. Uh, because the car, if it gets hot, it will turn the fans on to cool the battery, to keep the battery safe. Actually, if you've ever seen Tesla's Wild on YouTube, he reviewed the same one from this company, and it didn't have this up front. And I guess he got some complaints in his uh, comments on that video. And so he told the company, and they went back and redid it um, based off of his comments and user feedback. So that's really nice. Uh, you can see that there's nowhere for mirrors. I've never used a car cover before, but I have seen where they have... Um, little pockets for the mirrors and my my mirrors aren't folded in because I have a door open because I don't want the car to lock um, But with mirrors folded that would be fine. And then again, you can see on the back here more reflectors There's a little bit sticking out here probably just pull it down But looking pretty good if your car is going to be stored for a while um, This may be a good solution for you 
All right, so next up, this is essential if you want your radar working throughout the snow. Rust-Oleum Never Wet, only step two. So the details for this are on Tesla's website. I will link that below. But they say you spray this over the radar. It makes it ultra hydrophobic, so no snow or water can stick to the front radar. And this will allow your radar to keep working because snow can't get stuck to it. So Tesla says to do the front fascia, but I know the radar is somewhere right about here. Um, so I'm just gonna do this area. And to apply it, you just follow the directions on here. Again, only step two. The only caveat here is you're supposed to do this, I think it's at above 50 Fahrenheit, um, but we don't really have a choice, so I'm just gonna put it on like this. Now this will leave a residue on here. Let's just get it on, we can see what it looks like. Um, but it does have directions for removing it as well. I wanna make sure this surface is clean. You wait about a minute in between applications and I avoid the um, ultrasonic sensors here. They don't say you need to, but I know that these are fine as long as they're not completely covered in snow, so I don't want to put it on there. All right, and we're gonna do our last pass here. So that should be it, it'll be ready. So it says allow 30 minutes to dry for light use and 12 hours for full use. We will test this out just a little bit because I want to see how hydrophobic it is, but I'll let it sit for just a little bit and we'll come back to that. All right, here it is. It's been about a half hour. It does kind of look like crap, but to be fair, in the winter, your whole car is covered in snow and it fits in, you know, my channel pretty well. So here's some water. And yeah, you can see where that is. Absolutely cannot stick at all. It's actually pretty funny looking. Toss a snowball at it. Nope, you can see snow is sticking around the outside, but will not stick where I throw it. So if I throw the snowball over here, yeah, you can see the snow is sticking to the car, of course. And it will not stick on that spot where I added that stuff, so pretty cool. Next up is this snow cover for the windshield. I don't know if you've ever used one of these. I used them on my last car. They make it so much easier if you have to park outside. Uh, so I park in the garage at home, but at work, sometimes we'll you know, get a snowstorm while you're at work all day. And then you come out and you can just take this off and all the snow will come with it. So this is really nice to have. I used it on my last car and I really loved it. And I didn't realize at the time of filming this because I didn't have the product description yet. You can see that there are covers for the side mirrors as well on this snow cover. And then there's these weird little pocket things. I have no idea why you'd want that. Maybe if you're tailgating or something in the summer. All right, hopefully the lighting's okay. Sorry, I only have so many hours to film trying to spend lots of time with baby. So two more things that are pretty important in winter. So a lot of you guys have noticed that my windshield wipers kind of suck. Um, so I got some new ones. These right here, I'm going to put them on really quick. I'll do a before and after test with those just with the windshield fluid, but I will be using these for at least a few days before the video goes up. Just a really quick example for you while I'm stopped here. Uh, these are the new wipers and they're really good. No streaking and they're a lot quieter. Um, but they're just normal windshield wipers, nothing too special about them. They were sent to me by some other company. They just wanted me to mention them and tell you guys about them, so I'm not going to do a video about them. The same company also sent out some air filters, so I will have a code for 10% off of these in the description for you. Um, these are just the normal air filters. I know I've seen the videos about the HEPA filters, um, but honestly, like, I'm a biologist. I don't really think you need those in your car, and I don't think they're helping you too much. Don't kill me, um, but I, I don't know. They're really expensive for what they are. I think it's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna put these normal filters in. So I'm gonna take mine out. We'll see how nasty they are. I'm sure they're terrible. This is a good time of year to do this because in the fall with all the leaves and the dust from the leaves falling, and for me, the dirt roads get really nasty in the fall. Um, so now that it's winter and things have kind of settled down, it's a good time to put in these nice clean air filters and they should stay clean throughout the winter. There's not too much kind of flying through the air. So let's check out these wipers first and then I'll do the air filters. Pro tip for lighting, turn your headlights on. Okay, so here are the stock wipers. I'm at about 26,000 miles on my car. These are the wipers that came with the car. So I don't know if you can tell, there's some streaking, a few lines are left behind here. Um, and I think the real test is going to be in the weather when there's rain and stuff. You guys have complained a little bit about um, my window being smudged. So I really hope these new wipers will help. So I will install these really quick and we can check them out. So to install them, you go to service, 
wiper service mode. You can see they come up that much, and then we can take them off. I've never done this on this car, so I'm just gonna kind of figure it out. All right, so happy to report like a lot of things Tesla that was really simple. So I had never changed those before. I didn't look up a tutorial or anything. If you look here, I'm lighting this up for you. Um, this button is exposed when you look at the wiper. You literally just push this button and you slide the wiper off. And then your new wiper, you just slide on. That's it. So let's hit this and check them out really quick. So it looks a little better actually. Um, the streaking's a little less. It's not dramatic, um, but it does look a little better. What I did notice, and I don't know if it came across in the video, they're way quieter. They sound like they're gliding on the glass more than rubbing on the glass. Um, so that's really nice. I mean, they're just standard wiper blades. Okay, so we're in the passenger footwell here. Behind here is where your cabin air filters are. I'm not gonna go through this. Um, I just watched Brian from Iowa Tesla. I just watched his video. I put it up on the screen in my Model 3. But again, there's nothing too special about these air filters or the process I'm doing here. But I got these and I got them 10% off for you. This is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff I got going on. Now I gotta go way up in that corner. There's this tiny screw way up there. And this guy's just like, Oh yeah, it just takes two seconds, it's really easy. I'm not cut out for this stuff. And since my car is all filthy, my pants are all filthy now. This is crazy, this is crazy, Tesla. Okay, moment of truth here, I got this door off. I barely even fit in this little spot. It is cool that it says Tesla on it, it has the logo, made in Germany. Um, ow, how do I even get it out of here? Oh, that really hurt, oh! That is nasty, look at that. Look at that. That is nasty. All right, here's a comparison, new versus, no, I'm just kidding. This is old, Oh, it feels wet. That is just disgusting. And then here's the new one. So I was definitely due for these after 25,000 miles and I don't know, nine or 10 months now. All right, so you can see they both look equally nasty compared to the new one. I already put one in here. I'm gonna put the second one in and I'm gonna wrap this craziness up. All right, my car is back together in one piece. Brian's good at this stuff, he makes it look easy. Uh, putting it back together wasn't too bad, but getting that stuff out of there was a little bit of a challenge. All right, so those are some items I use to help myself get through the winter. If you have anything else that you do, uh, Tesla specific or not, that I didn't mention, comment below, help others out. There's always more for us to learn. Again, to enter to win the floor mats, car cover, comment below, make sure you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and hopefully I will be contacting you soon. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.